welcome to the next video in the Ravelry series. In this video, I'm going to take you to your queue. Now, if you're anything like me, I wish you all the best with your queue. I suffer from a serious case of squirrel syndrome. I will have my queue planned out for the next three months and then I will see something new and go like, oh, I've got to make that right now and then my queue changes. So, best of luck. Anyway, okay. If I click on my notebook, I can click on um, queue. Now I've cleaned up my queue beforehand um, just so that I can show you what happens. And what is in here now is two little, th three, four. Oh, God, there's, there's four. Huh. There's four. Okay, so let me take those out as well. Let me clear up my queue and start from scratch. So we simply click the delete button. It doesn't delete the pattern from your library. It doesn't delete the pattern from your favorites list. It simply deletes it from your queue. Um, and maybe that's a good thing for me today. Maybe I should clear up my queue completely and start afresh. Okay. Now you can do this two ways. The way that I prefer, I go to my favorites and I add the um, patterns from there but you can also add them from your library there's no difference in that you still got to open the pattern and look what it looks like okay so let me go to favorites because i know they are all in a bundle with abigail and in my library there are many many patterns so um, it's going to be more work for me to find them in my library than in my favorites at the moment okay so i click on abigail and um Let's say I want to make this wee envelope. So I open up the pattern by clicking on the photo. And if it will only happen a little bit faster, it will be so nice. Right. Here up on the right hand side, I can say add to queue. I'm on a farm. And the reception today is really really pathetic okay i want to make the wee envelope and it says using this yarn now you can either insert a yarn here that you are going to buy or that you have just bought and not um, added to your stash yet or you can say uh, i'm going to use stash yarn which is what i'm going to do so as you can see i've added a few um balls to my stash it's stuff that i bought specifically for abigail and i'm going to use the french rose nurturing fiber super twist sock i'm going to use that as you can see you can even filter your yarn here you can say i want to see only the fingering weight if you've got a massive stash like me and you've um, listed it all on your stash on ravelry it can be a bit daunting to find the right one so you can filter them and say okay um, it's going to be by filter them by the weight that you want to use and we're going to use the french rose one okay the project information i'm going to make this for abigail and when do i want it finished well this baby is going to be born today so my 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 i really need to move me but hey come on now open up this is purely reception problems on my side i apologize for that so i say mm, i want to have this finished by the end of april and i save it now if we go back to my queue now once this thing has saved it's gonna take so long that by that time my cooper's droop are gonna be much worse Okay, if we go to my queue now, you will see that the wee envelope is now there. And it says I'm going to use the Nurturing Fiber Super Twist Sock. It's going to be, it's in my stash and it's going to be the French Rose. Now, let me take another one and put it in there so that you can see um, what is going to happen if I want to change the order of the queue. Because that happens so often, like I said, squirrel syndrome to the max. That is the bottom line. I, I, I can plan ahead very nicely, but I seldom stick to it. It's just one of those things. Okay, 
So let's take this little one, this little rose butt. She looks so cute. Let's open her up and then I add her to the queue. I have no idea what you're on this calls for. Uh, 3.75, it's double knit. <laughs> Never mind, we add it to the queue. And you don't have to put a yarn in. Like in this case now, I want to make it, but I haven't yet decided which yarn I want to use. I'm not sure whether I have anything in my stash, but I want to do this. Now you can see here, um, it says, include this Ravelry download on my wish list. The reason it's there is because this is a paid pattern and I haven't paid for it yet. So I need to put it in my wish list to get a reminder that, hey, you should go and buy this pattern sometime. Now, if you don't want to fill anything in here, you don't have to. You just say save changes and it will add it to the queue. If we go back to the queue now. There we go. So I've got two projects in my queue. If I change my mind now and I want this one right at the top. I just click the arrow and it will change the queue order and it will place it at the top of the queue. Now, under normal circumstances, my queue is so long that I will never be able to finish it in a lifetime. And frequently I add to the queue and then one day like today, I decide Ugh, and I just delete everything and I start again and it will take me an hour, maybe two, maybe more, it depends. And I know I'm going to change it and I know at some point I might delete it again. But you know what? I thoroughly enjoy it. <laughs> it's pure inspiration. That's what it is. It's pure inspiration. So, okay, that's your Ravelry queue. I hope you're going to utilize your queue and don't be like me now, okay? Stay focused. <laughs> I don't ever know when I will be able to stay focused with a Ravelry queue. So all the best to you, hey. I hope you can get it done. I hope this helps you.